How's it going guys? Corporate Punishment back with a quick video. Today we're going into what sites you should and shouldn't use with night vision. Now obviously depending on what night vision you're using this will ultimately affect your site picture. In this video I'm using the best night vision which is the GPMVG-18 so ultimately you could expect that other night vision monoculars will degrade your site picture even more. Before we get into the video if you enjoy the content then please like and subscribe and leave a comment does wonders for my channel and algorithm. I also stream Tuesdays, Fridays and Sundays on Twitch and Facebook. I'll timestamp this video to skip to what sites to use and what not to use if you don't want to watch the full video. I'll also add the description below. Enjoy. Righto, so moving into our first two scopes, which are our Reaper IR and our Fleur. Obviously, everyone should pretty much know about these two scopes, except for new players. But, obviously you can't use it with MVGs on. But, take it off, and she's good to go. There's a, a night mode for the uh, Reaper IR. Obviously, the same, same with the Fleur. Good to go, but if we turn our MVGs on, goes to shit. And it's got a variable zoom as well. So moving on to our next two, we've got the KMZ 1P69. So we've got that one, and we also have the KMZ 1P59. So let's trial these. So she's decently dark. Okay, so it's a, it's a one variable zoom. And that's pretty good at night time. Quite happy with that one. That one is the 159. Let's try the 169. On the other rifle much the same not much difference between them really all right so they're pretty two pretty good scopes for night time moving on to our next two so we have the p lad 4x32 Whack that on. And we have the FF 4 16 Hen Salt. Or however you say it. Okay, so that one's pretty straightforward, really. This one. It's pretty pretty decent scope. It's not a, it's not a variable or anything like that, but uh, pretty good for night time. Moving on to our next one. Let's try and make this as quick as possible for you guys. This one's got a variable. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's pretty good actually. There's not much uh, brightness that comes off the indicator, which is pretty good. So that one's the Hensol. Cool. All right. One of the next ones. Okay, this is the Burris Fairfield TAC 30. Let's have a quick, uh, quick gander. Okay, so this one for night time, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just too bright. Uh, it's going to block your... You can see it blocks your, your vision. Uh, and it's too much flur coming off it. Um, and we'll check the secondary sight, which is quite good. You can, you can attach that uh, just by itself with a mount, which is the... Leopold Delta reflex sight. All right, get rid of that, and we're on to the the big one. So we've got the Night Force thirty five by fifty six. So this sight, the sighting range on this is pretty big. We can't even really see anything because it's just got too much zoom on it so it's got a two variable zoom and it's really good 
that not taunt. All right, get rid of that. I've got a couple more to get through here. So we'll trial the Vulcan as well while we're here. So this one's the Vulcan, it's a night scythe. This, this site's really good for at the start of wipes because it's doubles up as an MVG. So it's it's quite good. It has a little bit of blockage from the uh, from the reticle, but it, you know it's it's decent. I'd probably take the eye cup off it too. But. And our next one is the EOTech Voodoo. Let's have a look. Okay, so the Voodoo is quite good as well. Pretty, pretty awesome. Doesn't give off any flare, if any at all. And obviously you've got the PK06 uh, on top. I'd probably go the single dot as it when you got the uh, the three prong up, it's just it's got a bit too much glare on. All right, let's move on. Okay, so we've got two um, two of these sorts here. One is a medium range, and the other is a long range. So these are the Trigicons. Um, the one I'm using uh, here is the medium range. This can be equipped with a CQB side as well with a with an attachment. Let's have a look. Yeah, so not too bad. Pretty good. Usable, usable. This one, yeah, a little bit more range. Uh, it's up to you whether you use that. I probably wouldn't, to be honest. I'd probably use something like the um, uh, this one. Okay. So we got the Elcan at the bottom, and we've got the Valde. So the Valde is awesome at night. It's probably the one I use the most. What is going on with that? No oh idea. Okay, this is the Elcan. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty good. It's got a nice zoom on it. Good to go. And go back to the this one. Don't know what's going on with that. That's a bit weird. Hold on a sec. Let's take that bad boy off. There we go. That's better. And it's got a two two variable zoom on it, which doesn't seem to be working right now, but both pretty good sights for night time. Alright. Uh, so we've got the compact, I think it's the monster. Not nah, prism. It's got the prism there, and we'll put the monster on this one. Let's test this out. Okay, so this is the prism, just way too too much flur coming off the radical. Just it's not feasible for night time. Wouldn't use it. And we'll get into the monster. Monster's pretty good. No flare at all, and it's got really good sight picture. Righto. On to the next. So these two should be pretty interesting, I reckon. So we got the Bravo and we got the Leopold. Bravo is correction. Leopold. I think. Yes, Leopold Mark IV. Leopold's really good. And same with the uh, CQB side on top, which is called Leopold Delta Point Reflex. Okay, let's go to the Bravo. I'd probably go with the Leopold. Just this has got a little bit too much glare. Could block your, your minute sight pictures, so if you're looking for a player at the tree or something the uh that circle is going to block some of your vision so i probably wouldn't use it i'd probably go with the, the pole to be honest that's just my personal opinion 
Okay, let's go with the EOTech HHS-1. Okay, so obviously you wouldn't use this side at night. It's just got way too much going on with it. Um, just ridiculous. So you wouldn't even use that. Not worth it. Okay, and we've got the, I think it's the ADO P4. Yep, the NC Star ADO P4. Okay, obviously the CQB site's pretty good. Uh, the variable zoom. Yeah, probably a bit too much glow. I wouldn't use it. Um, just not not feasible. Covers up too much of what you're looking at. Alrighty. Let's get into the PSO. So the PSOs are all pretty much the same, really. Let me just make some room here. Okay, so small, small graticals, and it's uh, you know pretty effective at night. It's not going to block much of your vision at all. Okay. Now one of these is bigger than the rest of them. I think it's the Mark One. I, I could be wrong. This one's pretty much the same, just a few different uh, indicators on it. I think it's this one with the uh, the bigger indicators. Yeah, and you can obviously turn the um, turn the lighting off in these scopes as well. So, up to you which one you use. They're all pretty good, I reckon. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty stuff. Okay, so these are your kilometers, so your CQB sites. So the first one we've got, we got the OKP Seven Reflex. And we've got the Holson Reflex Sight. So yep, yeah, pretty good on that end for the um, OKP7. So we can probably get rid of that now. Moving into the Holson now. Reflex Sight. Yeah, pretty decent. Yep. Yeah. I don't think we'll have much issue with any of the kilometers or the the uh, reflex sites um, let's go that and that okay so this one is the Trigicon RMR so let's have a look and we also have the PLAD Weaver okay a little bit bright but we could, might be able to turn it down into a yeah single dot's pretty pretty decent so that's just way too much yeah I'd go with the single dot it's pretty good and this is the RMR pretty standard pretty good most of them will be decent so okay so we have the vortex razor and we have the I think it's a Cobra reflex Cobra should be pretty good yeah it's just a single dot really good really good for at night because it's it's such a small dot too so uh, more accurate and let's test out the vortex I don't know about the vortex I think it yeah too bright for night time I wouldn't wouldn't even use it all right Couple more to get through. I'm trying to get through this as quick as possible. Uh, Trigicon SRS Reflex. And we have the Aimpoint Micro. These both should be pretty stock standard. This is Aimpoint Micro. Yep, good to go. So they're both uh, pretty good. So the SRS and the Aimpoint are really good. Alright, let's just rip into the next one. So we've got the SIG. And we've got the uh, Aimpoint Comp for Reflex. Go the SIG first. Yep, standard, good. And good as well. Okay. 
Okay, so we got the XP53 EOTech. I reckon it'll be too bright. And we've also got the EOTech holographic. So let's test both of these out. Yeah, probably a little bit here you going, but it's not too bad. I probably wouldn't use it compared to the other ones that we've got here. I reckon this will be quite the same. Yeah. Pretty much the same sort, really. Just different variants. Okay, we're going to go to the MRS, and we've got the Valde Reflex. Yeah, this is quite good, actually. I like the, um, you can go with the small dot. It's quite effective. And we'll check the Valde. The Valde is pretty good. This is probably one of the best ones, I reckon. It's quite good. All right, moving on. Last one, which is the OPK7. I reckon this will be too bright. It's my first opinion, but who knows. Uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all, but covers up a little bit too much uh, ground for me, so. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.